the executive editor for the Montgomery and Prince George's County Sentinel newspapers, the last two remaining newspapers in Montgomery and Prince George's County. As the last newspaper in Montgomery County, I feel a huge responsibility. Uh, as, as a reporter, I feel a huge responsibility in this day and age because sometimes I feel like on any given day, I'll be the last guy out of the room before we turn the lights out. I've been a reporter and a journalist uh, most of my adult life. I mean, I started out in high school. Um, I was always interested in um, telling factual information only because I grew up in a family of lawyers and used car salesmen. And uh, so I got to hear the uh, unvarnished Blarney 24 seven. And I figured I'd uh, take a left-hand turn and try and you know find out a few facts. I guess the most interesting thing that's happened to me as a journalist is that, you know, I had to, there's been a lot. I mean, I covered the Gulf War. Um, I've covered gang fights, murders. I, I've seen 22 people uh, on this planet take their last breath right in front of me. And I went to jail for the First Amendment. I had a, a confidential source in a murder case. I went to jail four times. Uh, that case went to the Supreme Court. And, uh, and I did. I lost my underwear in that one. I mean, uh, you really don't think about going to jail and what it entails until you walk into jail and you have to give up everything that you own, including your own underwear, and you have to wear underwear that's jail-issued and has been worn by thousands of inmates before you and has the stains to prove it. One of my favorite things to do outside of the office is I play music and then on occasion, like I said, I've been known to stand up in, you know, in a hall or two and, and tell a joke or two to, you know, several hundred people whenever I get a chance. Laughter is a great mechanism for release of tension, for release of, cons you know, it's just for a moment if you can laugh at the absurdity of life. Here today, gone tomorrow, folks. I mean, any one of us. We could be sitting here talking, the roof could fall in, and let me tell you, that would be a hell of an ending to the story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, anything could happen. Bam! Well, the son of a gun was right. That's, I mean, anything that makes you laugh, you got to be able to, you got to be able to laugh. If you've gone too far to the left or too far to the right, guess what? You've gone too far. That's it. And there are too many people have gone too far. We don't laugh anymore. We don't have fun anymore. We're not playful. We're brittle. We're broken. We're scared. And I don't have time for that. I don't care for that. If you can't laugh at yourself, then what good are you? I don't know. I mean, you've got to be able to sit down and laugh at some point in time and just have some fun because life's short. Nobody gets out of here alive that I know of. If I figure out a way, I will patent it and I will let you know. I had someone ask me one time, so you think you're a comedian? And I said, well, only if I get you to laugh. And then she, and she laughed and I said, see, there you know, it worked. What can I tell you?